good morning everybody it is Wednesday June 2nd and I've got Luna here with me she is asleep and totally oblivious to what's going on but I just finished my run it's about 8 30 and yeah tomorrow I have a huge new release I have the regular August release plus I because I didn't get my new EC planners until late I'll have daily duo kits in both sizes and monthly kits and notes pages for three different sizes. So it is a really big release that I've been working hard to finish up. And so today I'll be doing things like counting the inventory that I have of the new releases and doing listings and things like that. So I need to take a shower and make some breakfast and do some stuff for my full-time job. And then I will take you along with what I'm gonna do the rest of the day to prep for new releases. So it's a little bit before 10 now. So I've done emails, and gotten ready and had some breakfast and also I paid sales tax for May which is it's kind of silly because I, I only have to collect and remit sales tax for Alabama right now and like Alabama is not a big state I don't get a ton of business from Alabama so I had to pay 57 cents in sales tax so um, it's important to do it on lot on time because if you don't you get you have to pay a $50 fine which would be very stupid to pay $50 fine for 57 cents of sales tax so it's not a big deal it's just the kind of thing I have to remember to do so the next thing I'm going to do is make my new release video. Um, I'm behind on this. This was something I'd hoped to do yesterday and have go live like 9 a.m. this morning. But I was waiting for my foiled stickers to get here and they didn't get here till later in the day. And then I didn't have a chance to film. So I'll film that now and then get it going so it can go up at some point later today. And then I also am going to film a video about how to use the foiled stickers. And sorry, I'm printing right now. So hopefully my printer isn't too loud in the background. But... Yeah, so I'm gonna record those two videos. Um, the first thing I'll have to do though, it'll take a little bit to get prepped for the new release video. Um, actually, I'll turn you around and show you what I have. So here are new releases, and this isn't quite everything. Some of them still need to be get, some of them still need to get cut, and some of them, the new monthly kits, I still I ran out of tabs, um, out of file folders, and I haven't made the stickers from them yet. So the monthly kits, I still need to get put away. There's still some more to get cut today, and I think there's another pile of stickers downstairs that Catherine cut yesterday. So this is almost everything, but it'll take me a minute to go through and like pull everything that I need for the new release video. So I'll do that, pull what I need, get things organized, and then go ahead and record the video. These are in my filming station right now, so I will also need to get these baskets moved out of the way. I am getting back to the point where I don't have much room for new inventory, so I really hope our new house is done soon so we can move so that I have room for all the stickers. And then I thought I'd go ahead and show you all the foiled stickers too, because I need to get these unpacked and organized um, for the new release video and just in general. So these are all the foiled stickers. So I have, there are a lot of them because I have six different designs and each of the six designs I got in four foils. So there are 24 packs of stickers that are this size. So it is a lot of foiled stickers. Um, I am so happy with how they turned out. But again, I need to make some more tabs and labels for these so I can put them away. I'm not gonna have room to keep all of this stock out here right now. So I'll probably grab a part of each pile of stickers and put them in a, um, in a basket for now and then put the rest of these like with where like where I store extra washi and stuff because like same thing with washi I don't have it all out I just have enough that I can pull for um, to fill orders at any given time I film my videos now it's almost 1130 so it's a little later than I would like it to be I need to go ahead and get the new release video edited and uploaded so that that can go live today and then I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do next I was gonna fill orders and I have uh, packing slips for the next batch filled out but I don't know that I'll really have time to do those before my assistants get here this afternoon so I'll have to I'll have to see um, I have I do need to run to the post office because I have a batch of orders from yesterday so maybe I'll do some of the orders from today and then go to the post office we will see but first of all I'm gonna get this video edited edited and uploaded and then I'll check back in my new release video is exporting now it took me it's about noon um, I spent a little more time editing that than I normally would because it was a little long so I wanted to cut out some extra pauses and stuff to cut the time down. So that's exporting. I really was hoping to fill some orders today but I don't think that's the priority. I do have a lot of orders right now and I know I'll get a lot more in with new releases but that's yeah prioritizing. So I've got here I have the orders that I filled yesterday and I have the shipping labels printed for those so I'm going to put the shipping labels on 
and then go to the post office and I also have to run by the bank as well. So I'll go do that so that I'll be back when Catherine and Danielle get here at one so I can get them oriented with a few things. And then I also, I pulled some of the foiled stickers of each type into a bin. Here are all the leftover ones. So now I need to find, we are running out of room here. Like we need to move <laughs> ASAP and stickers are just taking over. I do not know where I'm gonna put this bin of stickers. It may actually, oh, I know, I'll put it underneath the table that I have set up downstairs for my second cutting station. That's where I'm gonna put it. This box is really heavy though. So getting it downstairs might be a little bit of a challenge, but yeah, so those are all the extra foiled stickers that I can draw on to put back in stock. Okay, so I'm gonna turn, turn you around to talk to you for a minute as well. So the other thing that's really exciting is my new cutting machine has shipped and I, like, I, it was, it was a whole thing. I was like, maybe it's gonna be a couple months before I get it, I have no idea. And it's shipped and it's gonna get here tomorrow. And I am so excited. I will show you everything. It is just going to change everything for my business. So I am thrilled that it is going to be here. It's just, it's gonna make such a big difference. And I think that, you know, again, I've talked about kind of my first priority right now is I need to get the shop fully stocked and it'll be a big help doing that. And once I get the shop fully stocked, then, I'm gonna be able to get Catherine and Danielle to start doing things like filling orders and even, um, like, I guess I could train them on printing now, but I can get them printing. For now, like, I just need them cutting and I can print while I do other stuff. So I'm gonna be able to get them trained to do other things. And again, kind of my goal with this summer is I wanna get the shop to a place where it can run way more sustainably with me doing way less of the work. And I wanna be able to do more of the design and creative stuff, but I also, really stand by the quality of my product and there have been some things that I needed to figure out so I could delegate them and like it sounds stupid but printing was the biggest struggle and I for a long time and like I felt like I couldn't delegate printing which is so weird that I felt like I could delegate cutting but not printing and fortunately I have solved my printing problems so that's one where now I feel comfortable with other people doing the printing and having good quality and I feel like this is going to solve the cutting issue too because also to, to this day I have quality checked every single sheet of stickers that I send out and obviously like occasionally there's things that I don't catch too sometimes a bad sheet of stickers goes out or goes in inventory and I catch it later but I have been quality checking every single sheet of stickers and I can't keep doing that. But again, for now, like the cutting issues that come up with the silhouettes, I don't feel comfortable. Like I, I, wanna, I wanna check them because I wanna send you all the best product. But with this new cutting machine, it's gonna be much more accurate and that should be far less of a problem. So I'll feel comfortable with other people counting new inventory and updating it and checking quality and putting stickers away. So I'll be able to get Catherine and Danielle trained on everything this summer and they're both students. So in the fall, they're not going to work as many hours, which I totally get. And then, you know, I might be able to hire somebody else, but I'll have them trained and kind of have all the manuals written because that's another thing too, is I really, it makes me like, it makes my business sound so formal, but I really want to be able to like write manuals. I have, I have cutting manuals right now um, that I've given to my employees that they can look at for like all these troubleshooting and issues. So I am back from the bank in the post office and Catherine got here a little early. So she's downstairs cutting. Danielle will be here soon. We'll be cutting up here. And so I'm going to work on listings this afternoon and I have a lot of listings to do. I will do some screen recording of doing listings. So I've done the listing pictures in a few different ways over time and I've done them in Photoshop. I've done them on Canva. I've done them in Silhouette Studio. And that's the way that I do it right now is in Silhouette Studio. That's the fastest, most efficient way I've found to do them. It's not the best looking ones. Um, the ones in Canva and Photoshop looked a lot better, but and this is easy and easy is good. And then I think the other thing I'm going to do too is, so you can, when I first imported my shop from Etsy to Shopify, I used a paid service that you have to pay 20 cents a listing to import each of the, um, the listings. And you can do it with a spreadsheet with, with a CSV, but it won't copy your variations that way. And my listings have a lot of variations, so that isn't worth it, even though that's free. Since then, any new releases that I've had, I've been doing the listings both in Etsy and Shopify, like side by side. I think for today, I'm gonna do them all in Etsy just because that is what I am most familiar with. And it's just easy. I think doing the listings in Etsy is easier than Shopify. And then I'll use the service where I pay to transfer them from Etsy to Shopify. There's a lot today that I have to do. And um, for me, the time paying 20 cents per listing is 
definitely worth it for the time that it will save me. So I am all about when I can pay to save time, I will do it if it's worth it. And in this case, it definitely is. So it's 4.30 and I pretty much just worked on listings all afternoon. I still do have a long way to go. I probably will be staying up late tonight to finish listings and this is a reminder to me to not put them off to the last minute. Again, I'm giving myself a lot of grace because I've gotten a lot done in the last month since I've reopened in less than a month since I've reopened and especially this release. There's just so many listings because I've got a lot of stuff coming out. So I will probably be staying up late to finish the listings, but that's okay. But this is also a reminder to me that for next month I do not want to be in this position and I need to make sure I do listings as I go. So now I have book club virtual and then I'll make dinner and then I have virtual game night so um, it'll probably be a while before I check back in um, but yeah that's what I'm gonna be up to now. So it's about nine o'clock we're finished with game night and it's time to work on listings some more so like I said before, I'm going to stay up and work on listings and we'll see how long it takes. I, I can finish in the morning if I want, if I need to, um, but yeah, we'll see. It's hard to say at this point how long things are going to take. I got a lot of the pictures done earlier, um, but some of the listings like the A5 Daily Duo, I have to make new, like a sort of a new template for the listing. So that kind of thing takes a little longer, but then it's copy paste after that. So we shall see. But yeah, this is the, you know, it's just kind of how it is. Sometimes part of being a business owner is you have to stay up late and do things. And you know, that's just how it is. So fortunately, this is not normal, but it happens sometimes. And again, I'm reminding myself next month, don't put off all the listings until the night before new releases. So it's Thursday morning now and the new releases are up. I realized I never closed out the vlog yesterday. So I wanted to come on here. So I was up rather late last night finishing the listings. And then Fortunately, a customer emailed me because she was looking for the Daily Duo version of a kit. And I somehow there were like several kits I just didn't make listings for. I'd made the listing pictures for them, but somehow I just didn't list them. So I'm so glad she messaged me so I was able to get those up. But the bottom line is I just don't do things well late at night. Um, like 100%. If if I make a mistake filling an order, it is because I was filling it late at night. And again, this is not something I do very often, but when things are busy, sometimes that's what has to happen. And I have never made a mistake filling an order during the day. Filling them late at night, that is when problems happen. So that is just not when I do my best work. So I think too, I probably all in all yesterday, I spent about 10 hours working on listings. And this was, again, this was a big release. There was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff where I had to make like new templates for the listings, but it was a lot of time. And I think too, as, um, again, I'm not saying this like to complain or anything, cause like that's any, any, any job you have, any business, there's gonna be things that you don't like doing that aren't your favorite, that are just tedious. But again, as kind of my goal right now is to make this business more sustainable for me and to get other people to do the things where I'm not adding value. Making listing pictures, I can get somebody else to do that. I still wanna do the listings themselves, I think, just to make sure they're all squared away, that things are worded the way I want, but the listing pictures are what take the most time. So again, I think that I need to make that a goal by the end of the summer, um, and that's something that I can probably get someone virtually to do, um, or I, I can pr probably find a, another student I can hire to do that too. So I will be trying to get that part of things offloaded to again, streamline things, because that's, um, yeah, not the best use of my time, but that's that's how it goes. So um, again, this is real life, not complaining, just kind of saying this, this is how it is sometimes. Sometimes you stay up late and you work on listings and you still mess them up. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like not a whole lot happened, but stay tuned for next week. I will be getting my new cutting machine arrives today and I will be doing a vlog as I get that set up and figured out um, and I'll be posting that next week. So stay tuned. Thank you again for all of your support and for watching these videos. Um, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you again soon. Bye everyone.